eight US cent yeah. per unit. Yeah. Here we pay 20 shillings per uh, per unit. Plus, it is still going up. Yeah, it was 26 last week. La last week, yeah. so it is more than double. So no manufacturer can make magic uh, to survive. Internationally, if you import something like steel, if you import, it will be always cheaper than Kenyan production because our electricity cost is too high. Our people are hardworking. Our 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 uh, uh, population is 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 hardworking. I must say that because I have a huge number of uh, Kenyans working for our group. But what you can't reduce by that, hardworking only. You have to have a cheaper electricity, so we have to have our own energy. So uh, humor me before you tell me about your own energy. How much do you pay in electric bills a month, plus minus? Uh, about the, when there is a low season, we pay 700 million per month to Kenya Power. 700 million shilling? When it is low season. Otherwise, we pay 800 to 900 million Kenya shilling every month. That's like a billion shillings. Every month to Kenya Power. I must be the largest. They should give you the award, but <laughs> I, I never got it. <laughs> they are always at the doorstep to, to see how they can get more bills. Yeah. But we, we, we pay about 700 to 900 million averagely every month as a group. Still, we produce our own power. Still, we pay that. And it was 400 million just some, some year, one year ago. Despite you producing your own power? Own power, yes. And, and uh, like in Kuala, when you opened the recent plant, by the yes, way, sir. huge steel plant, right? Yes, sir. What, the biggest in Africa? It is the second biggest, it is the second biggest in, Af in Africa after South Africa, who is making uh, I uh, steel from iron ore in Kuala. We have about 3,000, 3,500 Kenyan working there. And that's only the technology in Africa that the, while you are producing steel, there is a lot of heat goes west into the chimney, which we have tapped and put it into the boiler and we produce our own 55 megawatt. We need 100 megawatt there, but our 55 is our own, the rest we take it from the grid. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, the iron ore is locally produced or you get it from outside? Iron ore, I, we get it, uh, thank God that we get it from, some we get it from Uganda, mm -hmm. some we get it from Hawaii. We have iron ore and we, now they are developing and we are developing also and supporting to develop that iron ore. And we also import whatever is the, the gap, we import from South Africa. And it's um, for local consumption or regional? It is uh, the capacity for regional, but we just started uh, in month of November. Mm. So our capacity is going to be about a million ton, which is our uh, East Africa's requirement of this product is less than 600,000 ton. So we are well covered for uh, East Africa and, uh, demand yeah. for steel, yeah. Other than steel, cement, you're saying you... you cement, uh, we... Kenya's demand is about 9 million ton. We produce 4.5 million ton at the moment. It will be 6 million ton by July this year. Uh, we are building uh, in Pakot the clinker plant, which, which we started about two and a half years ago, which should be in production by July. So that will boost our... Uh, production. Also, it will reduce the importation in the country. So it will bring the less pressure on dollar because we'll be able to supply to the Kenyan market and East African market. Even today, I export our clinker to Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. Mm. But then we will be exporting and also fulfilling the Kenya's demand, yeah. which will be a production in July. Did you mention Pokot? Pakot. As in bandit land? Yes. <laughs> it, it is bandit land, but let me be uh, very honest, uh, Vana Jeff, that it is because of uh, there is no income, there is no work. It's poverty. It's poverty. So if we put industry there, there will be about 2,000 plus people will be working, local people. So if they are working, you will see within six months time there is no bandit there because they have work. They are getting money every day. There is a food on the table and there is an income in next door. So this is what we need to do because Kenya needs to, to promote the industrialists to put the, the plant not in Nairobi, but to put it into the counties, mm -hmm. put it into the place where the people need the job. I have put in Imali where there was no, except myself, there is no any other uh, cement plant there. We could, I, 